Hello YouTubers, welcome to vlog number 123, it is race day, that means it's time to try and go down the track at Dorney Lake as fast as possible from A to B as quick as we can. So first we've got the time trial at about 10.30 and then we've got the race, depending on how we do in the time trial, around 4 o'clock anyway. So stay tuned to how I go around my race day, how I prep and warm up etc. Step 1. Don't change too much, so I've already got my smoothie, normal smoothie, frozen fruit, yogurt, eggs, no eggs, milk, protein powder, oh yeah, so now I'm going to pick up some of the guys, Ollie and Fraser, and then we're going to head to Dorney Lake, let's get there nice and safe. And we've made it to Marlow Regatta at Dorney Lake this morning, all the boats coming down, tier 2 8's just coming down the course. Just finishing off their time trial and then our time trials in a couple of hours. Now we're going to find the coaches, find the other athletes, and see what we're up to next. Let's get to it. And we've made it into a shaded area to protect us from the sun, just waiting on our time trial to start. All the lads and ladette are almost here. We're just missing out on Jacob. Sun cream. Sun cream is essential for great performance at you heard it here. Probably not first. Oh, all right. So just going to re relax for a little bit, wait for Jacob, get the boats checked, or a boat checked over there, getting nice and making sure everything's nice and tight. All right, let's get to it. And it's time. You may have noticed in yesterday's video that our two seat was missing because of the sound issues I was having. But now it's time for him to get into the starlight. Star, Anybody starlight? Does that work? Right? Limelight. Lime light. <laughs> starlight. <laughs> Star daylight. Okay, Mr. Two Seat, who are you? Uh, hi, I'm Callum Johnson, yeah, in the two seat of the, uh, of the ladies' plate. Uh, yeah. And where have you rowed? Where did you learn to row? Uh, well, I got into the sport um, through gig rowing, which is like kind of a coastal traditional sport in Cornwall, um, which not many people probably know about, but it's, yeah, it's really fun. And then um, applied to the, the start program, so I trained at um, Castle Door Club in Cornwall for like a month before trialling for that. And then was at Tees Rowing Club uh, whilst I was on the start, and then came to Leander Club to hopefully make these final steps forward for the boys, of course. So, a gig roar to start with. Yeah, well, rugby player as well. And rugby player. Differences between that kind of boat and the boat you're in today? Well, the seat doesn't move <laughs> at all. So, it's literally just like all back and arms. And not much has really changed, probably, since. But, um, <laughs> no, no, it's really good fun. Like, you're, you're literally on the sea, bouncy as hell. Um, and, uh, yeah, the boats, boats weigh about 300 kilos as opposed to 30. <laughs> um, so yeah, but no, it's like, it's really good racing. It's really good fun though, all the same. And the question that we asked everybody, three things to bring on a desert island, what would they be? Three things. Uh, so yeah, definitely some, definitely some music, mm -hmm. good tunes. Prevent myself from going, going crazy. Um, some, some good company. Yeah. Maybe a female friend, maybe maybe my girlfriend, um, and uh, yeah, some some decent shelter probably. So yeah. Interesting. It seems Calm is one of the closest to counting to three. Maybe not quite there, because if you had music, is that like a phone well, or it's a, it's a gonna, music it's player? Gonna be, it's going to be an inbuilt solar powered. <laughs> Um, oh, so he's thought about yeah, this. I have thought about it. <laughs> All right, okay. That is our interview with Two Seat Callum Johnson, Mr. Gig Roar, Mr. Lifter. Thank you very much. And we are almost ready to boat, just getting everything ready now. All the lads are ready to rock and roll. Time to get on for that time trial. Here we go. Go. 
and we just finished our time trial down the course and a little opener rate decent speed decent but no results yet at the moment how did it go Jacob you know we just gave it a good sign good day for hay how about it boys yeah buddy so now had some food already because remember food is fuel little warm down walk then we'll see what else we're up to we might head back to Leander nice and close so we might head to somewhere else just to have the legs up and rest and how are you doing well that's yeah, a good sandwich good bro as well yeah, yeah good good that. sandwich roll yeah good sandwich. buddy <laughs> all right let's see what we're doing next and we're in the tent where all the cups and trophies are for the Marlow regatta magnificent trophies here which one's the champ base trophy big one in the middle big one in the middle so this is what we could potentially win so that is the trophy that we could potentially win as we are racing in the Champ 8s. Fingers crossed. Let's get back to it. And now it's time for the Coxless 4 to go with some Cox single members. Yes, Dano. Yeah, the boys. And the other boys in the 4. Ross, Barney and Tim. Yeah, the boys. Yeah, Tim. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. So they're going to scoot down the course now on their time trial. Good luck to them. And I think now just more recovery till the next race. And now we're going to head back to the club for some food, for some recovery. Food is fuel. And obviously, just time to relax. Oh, yeah. So let's get stretch safe. Stretch the legs out. Stretch, stretch the legs out. Get the, get the legs moving again. See you at the club. And instead of going to the club, we've ended up at Sainsbury's because it was closer and we can get more recovery time, more time off the feet. Now it's time to go get some food and have a sit down. Let's see what we end up getting. So we're now just chilling, sitting down. Jacob, what have you got for your food today? Uh, I got some pasta salad. Food is fuel. I got some more pasta salad and uh, food is fuel. Interesting, I've went for the pate and baguette option and obviously some strawberries. Absolutely delicious. Vass, what about you? Mildew, mozzarella pasta, ribena, simple stuff. Call your mum. Look, me? Yeah, well. A sandwich and banana, some water. I got a lot of pasta and a smoothie. Wow. They're just waiting for other guys. Hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. See what else they can have. Just resting the legs. And fueling up and we've made it outside of the shop had a little bit of a nap had food because remember food is fuel now time to get back to the boats chat with Carl the coach and get on the water see you in a minute and we've made it back to Dorney Lake after an exciting drive and a little trip after getting some food how was your little break Fraser oh, I was good I had some Delicious yum yums, good pre race snack, yum. and uh, ice latte. Mm. Yeah, living Do the dream. Do you think you had the yum yums because it's sugar? Do I think I had, them, I had them stores. because they're delicious? <laughs> so I had them. What did you have, uh, Ollie? Uh, some pineapple. Oh, why? Uh, for them. <laughs> <laughs> for because they're delicious. Oh, yeah. All right, now to go meet the coach, have a chat, and some more relaxing time before we get on the race. Let's get to it. And we're just back in the shade of the trees. Now to go just have a sit down and talk to the coach. Still chilling, had a little meeting with the lads and now it's time to race soon, but still a bit of rest. Yeah, let's get going. And now it's time to race.
on the finish line at Marlow Regatta waiting for the Championship 8's A final with Francisco Mendes, no, 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 the no, legend no. that is. No legend in me. Uh, that's it for now. We'll get some hopefully good racing at the finish. And the and haggis. See you later. And that's us finished the racing for today, winning Champ 8. Credit to St Paul's and Newcastle for giving us a fantastic race. Awesome work by you guys. How's that, Mr Vasulis? Yeah, it was alright for a first race. Had a decent first fair kit, uh, 1k. Got to work on a few things. We'll get there. Alright. Let's get walking. Well done, mate. Let's get well recovered. Done, now it's time to go look for St Paul's to congratulate them. Did a really good job and maybe any other crews and also to get our, what are they called? What are the huh? cups called? Um, pot, pot, pots, pots, tan 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 tankards. tankards. Get the awards for winning the Champ 8s. All right, let's get to it. And now with the guys at St Paul's. Well done lads, great race. Oh, well done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, so did you get the record? Uh, no. Oh, close. Good work. Yeah, but again, the fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good nice. work, guys. Really good work. Wowie. Wowie. Good, good work. Really good work. Nice. nice work. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but really good work from St. Paul's there. Now to head back, recover. Because remember, food is fuel. Food is fuel. <laughs> yeah, buddy. And we've bumped into the Bouncy Boys just after their race. How did it go, lads? Oh, great. JJ caught crab. <laughs> just put it out there, JJ caught crab. All of them on Instagram. Where did you, where did you catch a crab? Five lengths up. About 500 to go, oh, maybe. Oh, dearly me. Yeah, yeah. Tier, tier one, catch a crab. It's all part of the plan. It's all part of the process. Are you going to beat the Sinkovich's there, haven't they? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I think so. I hope like, they're watching. <laughs> Sinkovich's, if you're watching, we're coming for you. Yeah, yeah. Look at the size of the mugs, mate. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> And that's the Bouncy Boys there. Follow them on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below. Now it's time to get our tankards. And now it's time for the tankards. Behave. I feel like I should locate my mother. Morgan, are we doing? Yeah, curve, curve, back, 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 back. back. Oh. Why do I have to say it's the biggest piece? And now it's vlogging time for the cut. Are we getting a selfie? Yeah, I know actually. Right, ready. Oscar selfie. Yeah, I don't know if we're in it. Are we in it? Someone direct it. You could probably hold it too. Pretend it's a selfie. My legs are burning. No. All right, you're all in it. Is it recording? Jackie G. Is it recording? No, it's a video. Yeah! Excellent news. Well, very well selfied. Okay. On to the food. <laughs> and as the boys coming down the track in their final now, the four coxless. Oh yeah. Yeah the boys! Wow! Yeah, they're trucking down the course now. But now I think it is time for a little trip to McDanks. And we've made it to McDanks. What is your order? What do you get? No, you have to select a dip. I did select a dip. Select a dip, click one of them. I've done it like five times. Oh. Now, no, add to order. What? So Jacob doesn't understand how it goes we here. We live touch screens in Canada, okay? <laughs> right, what do you want, Mary? There. They have vegetables? So Mary's getting a salad. <laughs> what are you getting, Fraser? No, they're still like normal size. So McFlurries have got smaller, apparently. Yeah, what is this? Oh, it says yeah. smaller size, smaller price. But it's not, it's more expensive. Yeah, it's 129. Well, that's interesting. So, what's your order apart from your McFlurry? Uh, so, we've got nine nuggets. Yep. Some little cheesy bites. Oh, wow. Large fries. Uh -huh. McFlurry. Nice. Coke. Nice. And I've went for six double cheeseburgers and a Coke. Oh, what are you thinking? Is that it? 
Taking some chicken nuggets and a few cheeseburgers. Oh, and a smoothie. Oh, <laughs> and a smoothie. All right. Let's get to eating. Oh. Instead of the large fries. Do I ever to the vlog? I might get a salad instead of the large fries because I'm watching my figure. You know? A salad instead of fries. You know to go with my 20 McNuggets and two McChickens. <laughs> we'll see you when we get food. Sometimes you just gotta go to McDonald's and get some fuel because remember food is fuel. So I got a couple of cheeseburgers and some Coke for first round and then we'll see what the next round entails. Fraser with his cheesy bites, his nuggets, fries, McFlurry, etc. Ollie with his burgers. <coughs> and we've lost Jacob. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> we'll see him later on. And Jacob's back. McChicken and chicken nuggets. Oh yeah. But I think that'll be it for the rest of the vlog for today. Would you agree, guys? I agree, yeah, I think so. Yeah. A successful day. Good as fuel. Hopefully you enjoyed it and the footage as well from the lads. And there's Ed Cousins. Thank you very much for the footage there. Hopefully you enjoyed the footage from him. I'll put a link to his Instagram in the description below. Can uh, just people comment down below what you think on Cam's outfit from McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a uni. And jeans. <laughs> and jeans. <laughs> and now to see the outfit. Fraser? It's well, Absolutely fantastic. Maybe it'll take off. Let me know in the comments below if you like the jeans, boots, and uni look. <laughs> yes. All right, gonna eat this. Maybe get another 20 or so, and then recover Sunday off. Maybe see the new Jurassic World. Remember, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Have a good one.